Good morning, folks. Take a look at the size of that plasma filament coming over the southeastern limb. Then, when the top turns the corner, you realize it's even bigger. We also have umbral magnetic fields just behind the northeastern limb here. That's likely more sunspots coming in with the group. The primary thing to see on the sun happened last night. A coronal spread and darkening in 193 and 211 angstroms is indicative of particle ejection. It's going to be very minor, but it should also be coming at Earth. Unfortunately, we have another 8-hour data drop out the moment that eruption occurred from SOHO. Doesn't really matter. That's not the big story. Looking at NOAA's Enlil spiral showing CME impact midday today, the 18th, what on Earth is that bulge out ahead of it in the top panel? Well, that's due to coronal hole stream incoming now. We expect CME impact today, but also one from the stream from that dark coronal hole. You see, a coronal hole is an area where interplanetary magnetic fields stream out into space, allowing fast solar wind to come out, much faster than the surrounding areas. And that means that the faster coronal hole stream inevitably catches up to slower particles out ahead of it, bunching them up like snow on a shovel blade. And so looking at the last three days of solar wind, it it shows some density pulses yesterday and overnight, and when followed by that phi angle shift in blue up top, we have to assume that the corona hole stream is on our doorstep. It will be interesting to see how that stream and CME impact play out today. We'll be updating on our Twitter feed and at spaceweathernews.com. We're here, so let's go check in on solar flaring, barely showing signs of life. And the sunspot situation isn't so great either. This lone, tiny grouping is quite spread magnetically for the time being. Had a new gamma ray burst come in just this morning from Camelopardalus around 3 a.m. UTC. Top Earth movement of the last day is a volcanic eruption in Ecuador, now spewing ash and fire. Top article of the day is another one about how animals use Earth's magnetic field. I like articles like this because it includes the skeptics offering both sides. However, I will say that when cations, ions, and coils are pretty much irregular in the microbiological realm of proteins and peptides, I am inclined to believe the research. Folks, if you missed our video last night, it is a bit of fun trivia just seeing how sharp your minds are at the moment. Top answer to the situation gets the first print off the line of the hardcover copy of our book, Observing the Frontier, and a year-long membership to suspiciousobservers.org. The contest is open for the rest of November. Responses are to be put in the comment section. And folks, if you haven't seen our other free sites and resources, please check them out, share them. They are quite helpful. We've got a new typhoon Canada in the West Pacific, Infa, heading westward now. We're going to show the low that brought 119 mile per hour winds to the northwestern U.S., the eastern side dropping tornadoes across the plains, and after that we'll pop over to Europe and check out the system delivering horrible wind and storms to the U.K. 80 mile per hour winds are certainly possible in some areas. We'll go down under and around the world with the current conditions as well, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.